Now that the machine's together and the motors are mounted, we can go ahead and wire everything up. It's just a spool of multi-strand wire I bought when I bought the motor kit many years ago. I think I got it from Mauser, uh, but at the time it was the best deal I could find. So get all the wires soldered together and then some heat shrinking just to protect it. And of course do that for the other two axes as well. This is the rest of the kit. It came from Probotics. With the power supply, the breakout board, and the drivers. Now these uh, driver boards have to be positioned so that these small ribbon cables can reach them. So I got myself a small sheet of wood and mounted everything to it. Here you can see just a cut off extension cord going to the power in. Power out goes to this fuse block. And then around one wire to each of the boards. And then the ground wire just jumps from board to board. And of course these ribbon cables go to each of the axes. And this chip here, it came with a heat sink. Uh, according to the instructions, if you run it over a, I think it's over a certain amperage, you have to use the heat sink. But I'm not running it above that, so I just left them off. And of course an e-stop button, just in case. So now, I've got to wire up each of the motors. And it's only four wires, and the instructions are pretty specific, so it's hard to mess it up. So here I've got Mach 3 loaded on my machine, and I went through my basic setup, which I'm not going to go through here, because I followed someone else's video, and I'll just put a card to that. But here I'm just trying, making sure each axis works, and it does, so that's good news. So in order to calibrate this thing, I took the, uh, the specs from the motor, the dimensions of the pulleys, and the pitch of the ball screw, and got some uh, rough settings. So here we'll just do a test and see how close I got. I'm going to try to move the z-axis one inch. And that ain't bad. 1.01 so we are ten thousandths off so I'll make a few few quick tweaks Just doing some basic math try it again 1.005 so we're at five thousandths off We'll dial that in a little bit better later. It's, it's not going to be a very interesting video. But I need to get this motor mounted as well. This is the spindle motor. This stuff's been laying around for many years. So it's just... I ended up having to take that power supply apart because there was chips all in it. But I got it all cleaned up so it could be mounted in a new round pulley belt. So let's test the spindle speed and see what we see what we got here. That's not bad. I'll still do some tweaks, get everything dialed in, but uh, next video will be some test cuts. It's exciting, I can't wait. 
But anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.